Now the first thing I want to show you guys for pure energy single leg operation number one is something that isn't strictly taken from Tai Chi. There is a teacher of an art called Aiki Jiu Jitsu which is a ancestor art of Aikido. This was a great internal master, you know, I'll, I'll go anywhere if I find the right thing. And what he did was he customized a very common Japanese exercise called Shiko which is done in sumo. Now I thought I might have had a picture of that. Oh, I didn't bring the book out, but you can look during the break. I have a picture of a real Japanese sumo player doing Shiko. And what they do is, I'm not going to really do it because uh, I've been doing a lot of yoga this week, so I'm kind of <laughs> stiff. You know, it's a, a paradoxical, isn't it? But uh, you know, I can put my legs straight up my head like that, like a kung fu thing. But today because we're doing four hours, I'm not going to do the full thing, but basically you raise your leg as high as you can and then they come down with a mighty stomp and then they squat into it. So it's three things for the real sumo shiko. A huge leg lift, a big stomp on the way down, a deep squat and then they're going to do the other side, okay? That's the real sumo shiko. Now, the way Sagawa did it was not that. He customized it and his student wrote a magazine article and was photographed showing Sagawa's way. It's an extremely powerful internal exercise. Sagawa himself performed this over a thousand reps every day. It appears to contradict one of the five principles that I didn't write, but the Ben Lo principles, what were they? they number one was always relax. The second principle is body upright. So right away we hit a wall, right? This practice I'm going to show you involves partial body not upright. Well, his body's not upright, therefore it can't be Tai Chi, it can't be right. But we know that it's okay not to have your body upright. There are many little breadcrumbs and hints in the form that teach us, oh, they're trying to give us a hint. There is a posture in the form called low punch. If you, uh, once you know the form like Robert and Brent, you know. This is where you simply bend down like this, and there, there's different variations of this. Some have their back more straight, some punch down or up, it doesn't matter. The point is, your upper body is canted forward. This is a pose that you can go onto YouTube and every film of the professor is doing this pose, okay? Therefore, we do not need to worry about this being a so-called contradiction to a principle. We are going to end with our body upright. We are going to use what the form has given us to generate a huge amount of energy.